Hi YouTube ladies, it's Ariane with Bumps and Bliss and I am finally here to do a pregnancy vlog and I'm out of breath so I apologize. I am four weeks and two days today so it is Tuesday and I start my new weeks on mon on Sunday. So, um, so I think in the future I will probably do my vlogs um, sometime around Monday or Tuesday is kind of my guess. Um, Sundays are not a good day to be doing a vlog. My husband's home and we're, it's just family day and we go to church and so um, so we're going to wait until probably Monday or Tuesday and it may be Wednesday but anyway sometime towards the beginning of the week is when I'll be uploading my, my new week so I'm really excited to be doing a pregnancy vlog I'm kind of nervous because um, I don't want it to be boring and I don't want it to be mundane and and I know so many women's vlogs kind of look the same but pregnancy kind of looks the same I don't know it's just kind of the same things generally happen so um, so if there's anything specific you ladies want to see or um, I don't know that you really like watching about pregnant women um, let me know and we'll see if I can fit it in but um, I'll start talking about my symptoms and I'll start with the most severe symptoms and go to the least severe symptoms and um, so uh, let's see so my, my, my biggest symptom is I'm just I've been really out of breath um, like I feel like I've been working out having to breathe have to take extra breaths and small trivial tasks that I do like talking <laughs> like I'm having conversations with people and having to like huff and puff my way through it which is kind of embarrassing because some people don't know I'm pregnant and I feel like I'm just really out of shape so um, there's that one and that one makes me feel tired I think more than I really am tired but I am tired that that would be probably my next symptom I have been tired a lot more and I get worn out by the end of the day I'm worn out sooner like by six o'clock I'm ready for bed I let's see what else another funny symptom is okay my the one the last one of the last videos I did where I was outside and I think I was like 90 PO I was talking about my symptoms I didn't know I was pregnant yet um, when I was watching that vlog and like when I was editing it I noticed that my gums were really red and I was like watching it going Oh, Ariane, you look horrible. Your gums are like bright red. You look just, I don't know, I was really embarrassed. And I was like, are my gums really that red? And so I went and looked in the mirror, and I'm like looking in the mirror at my gums, and they were kind of red. And so I was like, that's interesting. Didn't know I was pregnant, and so I flossed. And then like later in the day, and so, um, oh, okay, so my gums, I flossed. Then all that night, my gums were like sore. And they they tasted like blood, but they, I wasn't bleeding. But they just like are up around like where my tooth is. They just it seemed really sensitive and like tender. And I was like, that's really weird. And I I told my friend Luisana, my gums taste like blood. Is that what they mean by like that metal taste in your mouth a lot of pregnant women get? But I don't think I'd ever gotten that with the previous pregnancy, or I didn't notice it. So I kind of wrote it off. But then a couple days later when I was like I think I was brushing my teeth like I was looking at my teeth in the mirror right before I brushed them and I noticed that my gums were like peeling like the like dead skin was flaking off of them so almost like whatever reason they were red they're finally healing and they're they feel a little more normal now but that was just that was a really weird symptom so that was my weird symptom um I have had some sciatic pain I'm guessing it's sciatic pain it kind of in my lower like above my tailbone but it's not my spine it's like my hips it's like in the middle of my hips there's like a pinched feels like a pinched nerve and it kind of is like on the right side of my I don't even know where to describe it it's kind of in the middle but it's a little more to the right it's like a pinched nerve down there um, and so that's been kind of odd considering I'm, I felt it like at 7 DPO and that was really weird and so I've kind of felt that off and on I haven't felt any nausea oh I also have had like when I'm sleeping at night I'm really uncomfortable like I can tell my joints are already starting to soften 
because I've noticed I move around a lot. Like I get uncomfortable in this position. I get uncomfortable in this position. Like even when I'm laying on the couch with my husband, if I lay on my hip for too long, I have to move it. If I cross my legs, I have to like constantly be readjusting. So I can tell that like my bones are shifting and my joints are shifting or getting softer. Um, that hormone that goes, you know, that softens all of our ligaments and, and bones. Um, so that's it for symptoms. Um, okay, so my weight. This last week, I've gained three pounds, which is not normal, and that's not good. And I remember when I was pregnant with my last one, I didn't gain, I don't think I gained anything, and if I did, it was very little in my very first trimester. Um, and I remember going in to see my, do my doctor, my midwife, and was a little concerned that she was going to lecture me for not gaining weight. I just didn't gain weight. Didn't have any nausea or anything, but... Um, I just was concerned she was going to kind of be mad at me. and But she said, no, you're not expected to gain weight in the first trimester. You don't need to gain weight in the first trimester. She didn't think it was a big deal. She said, in fact, if you don't gain weight in your first trimester, that's perfectly fine. Like, And so I, from then on, I kind of I thought in my mind, okay, good. I'm not going to be like eating more to gain weight in my first trimester. Because like, you know, you want to gain enough, but you don't want to overgain. You don't want to gain too little. And so I kind of just had it in my mind. I didn't really want to gain a lot of weight in my first trimester. And already I've gained three pounds in a week. And so, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I'm still recovering from the HCG diet, which I know is still, I'm going to pack on pounds since I haven't been following that. And Anyway, yesterday I started working out again, and it's a really weak workout since I'm so weak and huffing and puffing, but um, I've been doing the elliptical. I did it yesterday and I did it today, so I'm going to start working out even if it's just in small amounts. I just, I want to be healthy in this pregnancy. I want to eat healthy. I want to give my baby the right amount of nutrients, and I want to gain, I want to gain weight from healthy food, and I feel like lately I've just been eating because I just want to eat. I... I haven't really had a lot of cravings, but I have noticed that at night when I have dinner, I stuff myself full to where I'm exploding. And maybe maybe I have less room in my stomach too. I don't know because I feel like I'm getting full quicker. I do. I feel like I'm full and huge and bloated and like I feel like I look like I'm four months pregnant after I eat dinner. And um, But then after I eat like this huge gigantuan meal, a couple, like an hour will go by and I want more food. And I'm not hungry, but I want more food and I want to eat more and I go back and I get leftovers. And so I've been really struggling with trying to just be happy and not overeating at night. It's a really weird phenomenon, which is another reason I'm sure I've gained three pounds, but... Let's see, I will show you the belly and I'm really embarrassed to show you my belly. I've never shown my belly before. I'm very modest like that um so you'll see that it's a really it's a post baby belly from two you know i have a two-year-old and i had a baby before that so i've had two children so just be be forgiving of my stomach it's really embarrassing and hard to show um but it is what it is and um i'll keep you updated on my belly my belly fat bump which is pretty much what it is right now you're just seeing my belly fat that looks like a bump Okay, ladies, so like I said, it's been two years since I've had a baby, so this is my belly, and um, the only good thing that I have going for my belly is I did not get any stretch marks with either of the girls, so, so this is side view, let's see, where are you, side view, there's definitely a bump, but like I said, it's more of a fat bump, not really a baby bump. Um, and I do have like scars like right here. I've got some scars for my tubal pregnancy. So anyway, that's, that's it. Four weeks and I will be growing. So, okay. Thanks ladies. Bye. Anyway. Okay. Thank you ladies. That's it for my four weeks. So I will update you again at five weeks and I have a couple other little things I wanted to maybe talk about. So maybe throughout the weeks in the future, I'll kind of just post random updates. So anyway, thank you so much, ladies. Talk to you later. Bye.